have to win the game tonight to get a 500 road trip, and I think that's always the benchmark for teams on any road trip that's of any you know such substantial length is to try to come back at least 500. And uh, if the Oilers win the game tonight, at least they're on the same footing they were when they started the trip. Not great, but not as they haven't slipped any. So, so um, it's. I wouldn't say this is a a a game that's going to be highlighted by uh, too many people in the National Hockey League because it's the worst team in the West against pretty much the worst team in the East, and no Connor McDavid. Now I'm sure when. Uh, Connor McDavid was going to be coming to Toronto. It was a big, you know, a big game on the calendar, certainly for the TV people and all the media people here in Toronto. But McDavid just spoke today. It's not seeing the ice, so uh, the game has lost a bit of its luster because Connor's not playing. Toronto Maple Leafs are starting a goaltender who's never had a start in the NHL before, Garrett Sparks, who uh, seven months ago was in the East Coast League and. Uh, and now he's going to get a shot against the Oilers. Well, but Sparks is playing because Jonathan Bernier, who's making four million a year this year and next, has played very, very poorly for the Maple Leafs. And James Reimer is out with a suspected groin injury. So they'll give it a shot with the uh, third goalie uh, in their organization and uh, see what goes against the Oilers, who will play Anders Nilsson again.